Howdy folks, Justin here. Real quick, this is the exact same deck list that I was playing uh, before Uprising Scout got nerfed. Um, it is a couple cards off from the lists that everybody was playing at the Master Series. Um, just, you know, my own, like, few number changes here and there. I think it's still pretty, really, really good. But the meta and the ladder no longer reflects this. I mean, that's why we see Support Mage everywhere, because this deck just raffle stomps Support Mage, and nobody's playing this deck anymore. I think that uh, Uprising Telvani is still a stronger deck in the hands of somebody who knows how to navigate it. This deck is easier to play. Uh, you don't need a, a calculator to do it. But yeah, you're just using Ulfric Uprising to generate ridiculous amounts of value. Alongside Galen, Soul Terror, Merchant's Camel, Ordinary Necromancer to generate even more value. The only difference is, is that Uprising costs one more, and Drain Vitality at level 3 now only affects one lane. So we're going to take it on the ladder and see if it's any different than it was before. See you there. Howdy folks, Justin here. Today we're going to hop onto the ladder with the exact same uh, Uprising Scout list that I was playing pre-patch, and we're going to see how we do. Um, I think we're going to do better than, like, people probably suspect we'll do, but you never know. You never know. I'm ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll. Here we go. We're playing against Wood Elf Guest, the forgotten hero who's playing Monk. I don't know who Wood Elf Guest is. All right. Legend 2145. All right. Uh, will we keep Indril Mastermind, I suspect? There's a Word Wall. And a Thorn Hiss Mage. Let's see how this works. I haven't played this deck. I played this deck once, I'm sorry, since the patch. I won. It was the day of the patch. It was like an hour after the patch. So let's see how we do now. Second Giant Bat. So if this is like the mid-monk thing with Monk Strike and all that kind of jazz, cool. Let's drop down an Indoral Mastermind and see what we can get. Care to make a friend Corner Club Gambler. Don't have a great answer to that in the deck at all, actually. So, doesn't want finish off. Okay. There's Odinir and Necromancer. Let's play our Mastermind. Uh, we'll take the Necromancer so we can bring back that Thorn Hist Mage. And, uh, yeah. See what happens. We, we got a lot of really strong tools in our hand to do some really great stuff. And yeah, we're going to take four. What are we not looking forward to seeing here? We really don't want to see Hive Defender. Goblin Skulk. Do you lane change it then? You must suspect I'm running bats. Uh, okay. Uh, Drain Vitality, great draw. Just going to bat into this though. And uh, play my wall over here, upgrade my vitality, pass the turn. Gonna encourage, I hopefully this encourages my opponent to funnel all their creatures into one lane because now level 3 drain vitality, of course, only affects one lane. Uh, Thieves Guild Shadowfoot taking my stuff. How dare you! How dare you! We're gonna play Thorn Hist Mage over there, we're gonna play Counterfeit Trinket, Territorial Viper, that's cool. Thorn Hist Mage, it is. So, there's a lot of cards we don't want them to take. <laughs> but hopefully with our two Necromancers in hand, uh, we can make some make some magical happen here. And my opponent is on what? Curse. Okay. Leaf Lurker. Okay. Sure. Angrily swinging, you can tell the fervor with which they're attacking me here. Um, let's play a Knight to Remember. And hit my Drain Vitality Reno. Play my level 3 Drain Vitality. And then um, run a Giant Bat into this. Alright, so we got two more level 3 Drain Vitalities in my deck. We got two Necromancers at the ready who can bring back Bats or Hist Mages. We got Territorial Viper in hand. Sure, swing. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Sure. Alright, let's... There's Galen. We can Galen next turn. Right now I'm going to play a Necromancer. That's pretty great. Let's just bring back a Thorn Hist Mage. Continue that ramp. Uh, next turn, great draws are Ulfric's Uprising. Because I can Galen shuffle Necromancers in and play Uprising. We still don't know what they took from us. It might be this giant bat. No, because we only run two giant bats. We've seen both of them. Okay. Curse. Okay. The forest is mine. Second leaf lurker. All right. Absolutely. And then you kill that, I assume. No, you go face. Okay. Soul tear. If I fall. Fighters guild recruit. Camel. Let's just do this. Let's shuffle more of these in. Let's play a Necromancer for a bat. Kill that. Kill that. I don't think we mind taking six here. It's not ideal, but we do have a soul tear for a giant bat. So we can clear off that lane, potentially do some more drain vitality work. I guess the question now is like, how big does this monk deck go? Monk strike, swift strike could kill us. We kind of want to make sure our opponent's not on that. So, I guess maybe we're not doing a great job of playing around everything we should be playing around. So, I kind of want him to just empty his hand for my own mental well being. Uh, okay. What have we here? Let's draw. Ulfric's Uprising, discounted. Well, let's play Indoor Mastermind for Parthenax. Actually, no, for Solter. And then let's play Ulfric's Uprising. We want to shuffle in what? More vipers, I guess. We want a hollow death priest. We want to reanimate a bat in this lane. And the second reanimation needs to be Thorn Hist Mage in this lane. There we go. Or we could just reanimate another bat. Let's do that. Just clear off the board. Okay. Well, this deck still looks pretty strong. Although, to be fair, that was a six cost. <laughs> Oh, for surprising. <laughs> All right. Gain some life. We'll poke our opponent a bit. And we're at 15. We have a handful of stuff. And Hollow Death Priest should be able to deal with some of my opponent's crap. We have 30 cards left in our deck. Opponent is 36, so we're not in danger of, like, drawing ourselves out anytime soon. We have two Soul Tears in our hand. A Knight to Remember on a, one of these might be good. We have a level 3 Drain Vitality. Yeah, let's see what our opponent's holding on to. Okay. The other card's Swift Strike or something like that. Let's... I kind of want to kill that. Or at least put a guard in that lane. Put a guard in both lanes. Um, let's just bring back Word Wall. Upgrade our Soul Tear. Pass the turn. Opponent has Unknown Spell and a Mummy and one Unknown card. I suspect they have a Swift Strike or a Monk Strike. What do we got, Mr. Guest? Mr. Forgotten Hero? There's so many lines with this deck. Torval Crook. Oh, man, this is a guy after my own art. Okay. 
That's the mummy. Because that was the card they drew. Yeah, it's Swift Strike. 100% Swift Strike. Um, I guess we should draw in case we hit Ulfric's Uprising. Shadowfin Priest. We could still mummy into Uprising. So pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna overdraw. Actually, Uprising's not even good here. <laughs> I'm, my board position's too strong. Alright, let's kill some of these guys off. Let's gain some life. Yeah. Too much. We've got too much rich. Too much. Too many riches. That's right. We're stacked for cash. Yeah, we are. Talking mud crab merchant. <laughs> Skooma racketeer. Okie dokie. I mean, this dude's legend, and I'm not. So. <laughs> Poisonous mummy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I guess we should probably just kill him. I don't know what else to do. We could uprising here in a second, I guess. <laughs> just got too much stuff. Life's too good. Can we kill him? Two and then seven, I can do nine that way. Oh wait. Yeah, I think we can. I think I think we can cobble together lethal hair. Do 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 There's a place that is magical and full of life. <laughs> Alright, so this deck still seems pretty good. Justin approved. It's so weird to play like strong decks, right? Because like I'm just like, oh yeah, I just win. And I'm not like struggling and going insane constantly. That's why I'm going gray is this freaking game these decks I play. <laughs>